Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, in today's video we're going to be testing out SD 3.5, the large model. We're going to see how, how it goes because I really liked uh, SD Excel and I'm really happy to see Stability AI come back into the game. Uh, today we're using uh, Mast Compute Servers A6000 which has uh, 48 uh, gigabytes of VRAM and they were really generous to provide uh, all the followers with 50% off their servers. The link is going to be in the description below. And this is my uh, image, creator image, so make sure to pick creator, Ardenius, and then the code name is Ardenius for the discount, 50% discount. And the cool thing is that you'll have uh, Comfy UI installed and all the, everything ready to go. You also have a link to my coffee page if you want to download the workflows are going to be there and are going to be in the description below as well. I downloaded all the models from here. So these are the files that we have downloaded. I'm going to show you where to put them in your Comfy UI setup and how to run them. So the first thing we need is clip G and clip L. Okay. So we're going to go here and add the models. So clip and we're going to cut these, paste them here in the clip folder. This one also goes into the clip folder. So we're going to cut that and paste it here. And now we have the models. These are GGUF models. So this one is still downloading. So let's take this one, cut it and go back to models and then go to unit. So the unit folder, paste it here. And now we should have our, oh, we still need the VAE. This is the VAE here. So Diffusion PyTorch model, uh, 168 megabytes. So we're going to download the VAE. VAE is a small file, so it should download pretty fast. Already downloaded. So yeah, these servers have really fast downloads as well. I'm going to rename this into SD35 VAE, enter, and let's get this one and paste it into VAE, models, VAE, paste, and now we should have all our uh, files ready, and now we open our Comfy UI, go to load, and we take the workflow from the downloads, this one right here, open, and as you can see it was all the way on the top right there, and we have everything installed because we have all the GGUF uh, models installed and everything as you can see, uh, the models that we just downloaded are on all in place, so we have the G here, the L here, and the T5P FB8 here. Those are all triple clip loaders. The VAE, we have SD35 VAE. And the model, we're currently going to use the Q8. So you have the negative here going into conditioning set time step range. The start is 0 0.1 and end at 1. And this one here, conditioning set time step range from 0 to 0 0.1. So it's continuing the, uh, here. And this one is coming from the negative into conditioning combined. So it's almost like uh, cascade, you know, the setup for cascade. So those two, the pot from the negative, they go into the negative here, and the positive goes straight to the positive input of the case sampler. Here we have the uh, unit loader in the middle, model sampling SD3, so there's a sampling model with a shift of 3. So let's hit generate and see how this goes. Triple clip loader, torch has no attribute, float 8. Okay. So, no 
attribute float 8 in this place here. Just use clip L and see how that goes. So we're using two clip L's and a G instead of the T5X. So it's almost like 40 seconds to get it uh, generated at 40 steps. So as you can see here, uh, we got an image. Let's open it up in a new tab. This is pretty impressive. You know, uh, I just want to get a quick prompt for Halloween. And let's generate. But I mean, for, from the first impressions, this image, I really like it. It's not bad at all. And that's really nice. I like this. I like the results of this. See, I mean, it's pretty good. So let's set this to Halloween folder. Output Halloween. And it's going to start uh, saving into a Halloween folder in the output. So yeah, all the ARD nodes are going to be included on this server. So happy Halloween to everybody. And I hope you guys like these images, <laughs> Halloween images. I'm going to post them in the, uh, into my coffee page. So you can check them out right there. They'll have the prompt as well because I'm using ARD save image. And this workflow, I'm going to uh, post it into my coffee page as well. And uh, now let's test the uh, larger uh, model, which is SD 3.5 large and FB16. So that's a 16.3 gigabyte model. So let's put it into the unit folder right there and paste. So now we have the large model and we hit refresh and let's test out the large FP16 3 SD 3.5 model and hit generate. The, yeah, the, the Q8 took 33 seconds to generate. So that's pretty fast. And it's generating in 27 seconds. So, so actually it's because it's an FP16 uh, quantization. It's actually faster than the Q8. So, and it's probably producing much better images here. As you can see. So let's check out this image looks really scary. I mean, I don't really recognize the like quality of the images until I make uh, like a beautiful woman's face. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty detailed. I like the details. A little blur. I mean, yeah, there, there, there are, there is some blur. I'm not sure how it goes, uh, but I'm going to be modifying a workflow for the next video on SD 3.5 to make uh, high resolution and better uh, quality images than these. These are the standard images, 10, 1024 by 1024. So next video, we're going to be playing with SD 3.5 to make high resolution images uh, with new workflows. So thank you for watching today's video. And I hope you uh, like, share, and subscribe for future videos. And see you in the next video. Bye.